In the wake of the vote to leave the European Union, Britain's Prime Minister said the country was uniting. The country coming together and looking for that brighter future as a global Britain. In reality, the opposite is happening following the so-called Brexit vote, say researchers of a new study. Theresa May is presiding over a divided nation. Divisions between towns and cities, between north and south, between the different nations of the United Kingdom. So Wales voted leave, England voted leave, Scotland voted remain, Northern Ireland voted remain. Between young and old, between people with degrees and people without degrees. It revealed and brought out into the open a new divide, which was a divide between leavers and remainers. <laughs> Researchers identified another emerging divide. Leave voters thought equal opportunities for ethnic minorities have gone too far, while those who felt such opportunities have not gone far enough showed a strong tendency towards voting remain. The divisions do not follow traditional party political loyalties, according to the study's lead researcher. And a very good predictor of how you voted on Brexit is, ve is whether you believe in the death penalty or not. And that's nothing to do with our traditional politics, that's values. Attacks on ethnic groups, so-called hate crimes, increased by over 40% after the referendum, according to government figures. Evidence, say analysts, that the vote has far deeper significance than the simple matter of Britain's EU membership. If anything, the referendum has made us feel more divided and maybe even made us more divided than we were before. Menon says the values divide could explain why there's little sign that Britons are changing their minds, despite mounting evidence of Brexit's economic costs. Henry Ridgewell for VUA News, London.